But in terms of like watching theatre, I fucking really don't like theatre. I don't like the way theatre's done in London. I yeah. think it's mostly shit where like, I like a lot of film. So, mm. yeah. But do, do you mean like theatre? Because in London, in, in UK, like there is like very, very big, like high end Uh, plays that you could watch like and the, the yeah. production value there like it's, it's incredible production value is great but for me acting has always been about connection human connection mm -hmm. and this sense and this feeling of like relatability um, a shared experience and I reckon probably like a shared struggle is what I've always aired towards and that's probably a reflection of my own life it's this sort of like oh you're not alone in the world like I, that's what I like about acting is like you watch a film and you and yeah it's that it's that relatability it's that shared experience with another human being but also it's entertainment um, and you can't move away from the fact that it's supposed to be entertainment mm -hmm. but I just feel like the theatre leans way too more towards entertainment and being like performative mm -hmm. rather than it being about connection so when i watch theater i just watch actors acting and performing and i'm just not interested in it i just find it i just find it to be empty and inauthentic so do you think it might be a byproduct of, of or like actual media of the specifics of theater do you think it's much harder to kind of capture this very very intimate moments uh in comparison to screen like when on, on screen for example you can you can have like a close-up very kind of intimate quiet close-up that kind of captures every single mm. movement on your face just every single emotion when like in theater you kind of you have to project you have to be loud you have to be you know like big enough this for, for people like in the and the and row to see you properly Yeah, I think that definitely plays a part and um, I think one of the biggest challenges of theatre that I've seen as an actor but also as a director is how do you hold on to your, how, how do you hold on to yourself mm -hmm. when you're having to perform and you're having to accentuate your voice and your physicality but I think it is possible but I think people end up thinking oh I'm on stage now so I have to be big and I have to be a character and a lot of the way that people direct is like the show has to be the exact same way which I get because you go into a running time you can't be fucking freestyling here there and everywhere but I think it tends to then lead the actors down a road of just being like in a rehearsal so I'm just I'm saying the lines at you you're mm -hmm. saying the lines at me we did it like that yesterday we did it like that the day before mm -hmm. this is the show We've got to make sure those people at the back here and see us and the show becomes more about that rather than the 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 immediacy and the spontaneity that i think it can have which makes live performance amazing like mm. and when i see it done like that i'm fucking blown away by it but it's mm. so few and far between that i see it done like that and you're right on film there's just more of an opportunity to exist you also get more takes yeah so you know you can just exist in that space and you can maybe try something a little bit different But my opinion is you can do that on stage as well. It's just, just not thinking, the dumb thing. I'm just thinking that, for example, like on film, we, we see one take from like maybe like one single great take from 10 takes. And maybe kind of sometimes in theater, like you have 10 performances and you would see this one, one, one performance that would be that amazing. <laughs> But it's like you can't do it every night. And on film, you just you see this like the, the very best one selected and edited into the web program. So maybe. That might be one of the reasons as well. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, well, like, when, you perform, every night. when you perform, like, uh, in theatre, yeah. like, do you think, like, every night, like, where, do you have any runs when, like, every night was amazingly new? I think every night, especially in the last few years, when I've done theatre, maybe not early, earlier on, every night I've found new things. Mm. Every night I've challenged myself, I've challenged the work, I've challenged the actors around me to find new things, to keep it fresh. Mm. That doesn't mean it's always good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that doesn't mean that it always works. And I think that's why theater leans more towards that safe way of doing things. I'm like, well, that works. Oh yeah, the way you say that line, that works. Like, let's, let's just lock that off. Mm. But I would just, I just think, have the courage to just fucking try something new you know at least let it be a real moment rather than a fucking rehearsed moment i think some things might be locked you can lock them like when it works you can lock them for a couple like two three times and then but like i think then it stops working <laughs> you'll still have to kind of uh, find something new in it 
Because yeah. so sometimes, like even in class, when you were telling me sometimes, like I've seen this, like you did it like few few times, and I was like, yeah, fair enough. But sometimes it just feels like it's not like I'm I'm doing it just because it works. It's just because like it just feels natural. Because last time I did it, not because I thought it will work. It was kind of natural. And then next time I'm doing it, it kind of it still feels natural. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, and then it can become stale, of course. But I, yeah, I think I, I don't think it's about saying the lines in a different way every time. I don't think it's that at all. It's about saying the line to the other person every time. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so easy. It becomes like a dance you almost get stuck in the choreography. It's like, this is the way I do the line. And what happens is you say the line in the same way, but up here, you're not engaged. Mm -hmm. You're not engaged with that person. Yeah. And that's what I mean. That's what I see a lot of on theater is it's just a performance. I say this, you say this, you come on here, I stand there, we do this, you pretend to cry, blah, blah. And it's just like, come on, man, fucking speak to the other person. Mm -hmm. Like you, you don't have to say the line in a different way, but if you're gonna ask it like, how are you? Mm -hmm. Ask them, how yeah. are you? Do you know what I mean? Like actually do that. For me, that seems very simple and basic. I just don't see it. I just don't see it happen very often, mm -hmm. and I find it frustrating.